Hey there, happy Monday. Pretty excited about tonight's episode. Welcome to the Final Wager. I'm Keith Williams. First of all, we have three new players for the first time in six years, I think. Second of all, we've got Alex doing the entire show from his lectern, which you know, maybe not the most exciting thing due to the reason for that, his knee replacement. But it's neat to see the way the show works from a different angle, especially during the contestant interviews. Third, we've got this situation which, if you have any inclination towards numbers at all, you'll recognize as a pretty special scenario, and one I don't think we've had since Christine Kim last January, I think, so it's been almost a year, unless I'm forgetting something, that we've had this exact scenario. And fourth, I'll let you figure that one out. All right, we've got Liz, our not returning champion, but new challenger, at the champion's podium with 15,000, and Shoshana in second with 10,000. Jay doesn't have the difference between those two, so he's going to be out of it. Shoshana has exactly two-thirds of Liz's score, so the math will show why this is bizarre pretty quickly. So 20,000 if Shoshana doubles up. So Liz is going to want to wager 5,000 at least. If she's wrong, She's going to be left with 10,000 exactly, which is what Shoshana has. So, Shoshana could wager zero. If Liz tacks on that extra dollar, Shoshana wagers zero, then uh, Shoshana's going to win by a dollar. It's exactly what happened with Christine Kim and Brian Quinn. I think Brian Quinn had 21,000 and Christine had 14,000 exactly. Brian tacked on the extra dollar, missed. Christine also missed, and Brian ended up with $13,999, losing by a dollar. That is a tough situation to be in. So it looks like I got pink next. Liz has a decision to make, as does Shoshana. With a category like publishing, I'm going to guess that Shoshana has an advantage here since she is a children's librarian. I can't remember what Liz does, but Shoshana has the option to go for everything. If she thinks that Liz is going to wager something less than 5000 or even if she does think that Liz is going to wager 5000 because in that case they both get it right, they go to a tiebreaker. If she thinks that Liz is going to wager conservatively to force Shoshana to get it right, then Shoshana has to get it right and wager something to have a chance, so she might as well go for broke. So there's really only two options for Shoshana. Liz can basically do anything up to whatever double that is, so 7400 $7,399. i am going to guess that Shoshana is going to go big and uh, Liz is going to go for the extra dollar. So we'll see. I'm going to go watch now. I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out. Be right back. Well, I definitely let out an audible gasp when Shoshana's wager was revealed. I uh, thought we might have lost our chance at seeing a first tiebreaker, but luckily Liz's extra dollar rendered all of that moot, 20001 and she'll be back tomorrow once again playing at the first podium, but this time with the title of champion. Congratulations, Liz. Good game out of all three players. And, uh, yeah, it's the last full week of 2015, so I'm hoping we can make it a good one. So I guess we'll just have to start fresh tomorrow. And I hope you'll join me then, right here, on the final wager. <laughs>